But we begin the readout tonight with bad news for Rudy. Thanks to the legal work that he did for Trump, who ultimately stiffed him on his legal bills, former mayor and one-time SDNY prosecutor Giuliani is now banned from practicing law and faces permanent disbarment. A New York state appellate court today suspended his law license over the election lies he spewed following the November election. In a 33-page decision, the panel of judges wrote, quote, we conclude that there is uncontroverted evidence that Giuliani communicated demonstrably false and misleading statements to courts, lawmakers, and the public at large in his capacity as lawyer for the former president. In other words, a court of law literally ruled that Rudy Giuliani is a liar. In fact, he was deemed such a prolific liar that he was considered an immediate threat to the public interest. And as you might imagine, he didn't take it well. How can they say I lied if they haven't had a hearing? I've been a lawyer for 50 years. I've never had a complaint. Somebody's got to fix this uh, double standard justice system, which is not America anymore. I, I mean, I might as well be in Iran or East Germany, but they think I'm going to violate the law after having almost been killed by the mafia, the FARC, the Islamic terrorists. They're out of their minds. What do you do now, having lost your life? I fight back. That's what I do. Petition. What they did should be a problem for them. They should be being investigated. That's not American. That's what they do in dictatorships. Okay, that's cute, coming from the guy who used bogus allegations to try and overturn a Democratic election. In the months after November 3rd, we saw Giuliani lead what could only be called a fantasy fraud tour, embracing and repeating the most outlandish allegations and conspiracy theories to push the big lie. Of course, there were plenty of signs that Giuliani's quest was doomed before it even got off the ground, like the fact that he launched his effort from the dusty parking lot of the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Company in Philadelphia, a venue his team apparently confused with the five-star hotel chain. Then there was Rudy's literal meltdown at the RNC. Trump's legal team was supposed to release the Kraken, but Rudy's runny hair dye stole the show. In suspending his law license, the court cited multiple falsehoods that Giuliani spewed in that effort. And here's just a sample of Rudy's lies. The real question is how many illegals voted? Because every one of those illegal votes has to be taken out. The bare minimum is 40 or 50,000. The reality is about 250,000. I guess the crooks in Philadelphia are disappointed in this. They only submitted 8,021 ballots from dead people. Joe Frazier voted in the 2018 yeah. election five years after he was dead. In Pennsylvania, there are 600,000 more mail-in ballots that came in than were sent out. I don't know what accounts for that 700,000 difference. And I can't imagine you could possibly certify without knowing the explanation of that. Surprise! All of that was false. As the court made clear, Giuliani failed to provide a scintilla of evidence for any of the varying and wildly inconsistent numbers of dead people he alleged had voted. Likewise, on his allegations of undocumented immigrants voting, the court said, quote, these numerical claims are so wildly divergent and irreconcilable that they all cannot be true at the same time. The court also pointed out that while Giuliani's claims ultimately failed on the merits, they fueled the violence of January 6th, the worst attack on the U.S. Capitol in more than 200 years. Joining me now is Glenn Kirshner, former federal prosecutor and MSNBC columnist. And Glenn, I just wanted to just for a moment take, a, take stock of where Rudy is at this moment. Let's just go through the list. He cannot practice law. He is facing disbarment. Trump never even paid him his legal fees, so he didn't get the money. And he's now under criminal investigation for his dealings uh, with Ukraine, where he was trying to dig up dirt on Joe Biden and his son. Your thoughts on Rudy's uh, status in the world right now? You know, Joy, I just watched your lead in with the clips of Rudy um, saying that he's going to fight back. He apparently is incapable of experiencing shame, because when you read this 33 page court order, it, uh, you know, if it were me as a lawyer, I, I would crawl under a rock and you would <laughs> never hear from me again. You know, if, if people, I think, should take the time to read it, because what they do is they set out all of the evidence supporting their conclusions that Rudy lied. He lied about voting in Pennsylvania. He lied about voting in Georgia. He lied about absentee voting. He lied about underage voting. He lied about convicted felons voting. And... The court is careful to say he lied at press conferences. He lied at state legislative hearings. He lied on radio broadcasts. The court notes as both host and guest, 
He lied on podcasts, TV appearances, and he lied in court. And if people really are willing to listen to anything else Rudy Giuliani has to say about the presidential election or anything else, well, then they are unwilling to accept the truth. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it's hard to feel sorry for him. I mean, there's, I, I, you know, personally, as somebody who lived in New York in the Giuliani era, in Giuliani time era, it's hard to have any empathy for a guy who sicked uh, the police on uh, black citizens of New York, tried to make money off of the, the moment that he had did one good thing on 9-11, sort of managed things uh, and, and, and profited and then turned to doing this. But it's wild that he did all this for someone who didn't even seem to respect him. Let me read from you. The Daily Mail had this report. There's a new book that talks about Giuliani's relationship with Trump. Michael Bender did this book. This is the quote. Donald Trump enjoyed tormenting Rudy Giuliani, mocking him for falling asleep in meetings and calling him pathetic after the former mayor's television appearances. Rudy, you sucked, Trump told him after one TV hit. You were weak. And yet, Giuliani rarely complained and instead seemed to crave the attention. So this guy was getting abused by the former president, not paid by the former president, and yet lied and threw his law license away for it. What, what do you make of that kind of behavior? Uh, you know, birds of a corrupt feather flock together. And whether it's Donald Trump mocking Ted Cruz or his family or, you know, making fun of Lindsey Graham and these, I'm sorry, very weak men continuing to follow him, you know, like like they're a, a wounded puppy. I don't understand it. Um, I guess they feel the power of his his orbit and they, they want to kind of stay in his good graces so they can keep a little bit of that power for themselves. But, you know, I, I saw in your lead in you also had the clip where, I mean, Rudy Giuliani alleges, of all people, that Smokin' Joe Frazier, the former yes. heavyweight champ, even voted. And you know mm -hmm. what? That It sounds funny and it sounds like a throwaway line. But the, but the New York court went so far as to get the documentation from the state of Pennsylvania that Joe Frazier was taken off the voter rolls in February of 2012, three years after the champ died. Now, you know, so all of these lies are easy to tell, but it takes a whole system of determined and dedicated people yeah. to uncover them and to hold the Rudy Giuliani's of the world accountable. And, you know, the court wraps up by saying these kind of lies are exactly what led to a violent deadly right. insurrection and undermines confidence in our free and fair elections. This is not fun and games. Yeah. And if those other lawyers that participated in this are paying attention to this, look sharp because uh, you could be next. Uh, Glenn Kirshner, always great to talk to you. Thank you very much. And in a letter last month, the governor, general counsel and attorney general of Pennsylvania urged the appellate court in New York to discipline Giuliani for his reckless conduct. Among other things, they said that Giuliani's abusive misuse of the courts had serious consequences. Pennsylvania election workers have received death threats from individuals convinced of the truth of Mr. Giuliani's lies. And with me now is Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro. Uh, you know, and thank you for being here, uh, Attorney Shapiro, because it is it is easy to laugh at and mock Giuliani for being mocked by Trump and yet lying for him and losing his law license. But I think what the judge said is the key, and it's the point you've made as well. This resulted in actual death threats to real people, to real people who worked in elections. Talk a little bit about that. It did. It not only resulted in actual death threats to great public servants here in Pennsylvania, but as I've been saying now for months, it led directly to the violent insurrection on our Capitol on January 6th. And in fact, this panel who uh, suspended his law license today made that point, that by abusing our courts and feeding them the big lie, presumably on behalf of Donald Trump, it stoked the fire and led to January 6th. This is very, very serious, as you correctly state. Now, there's some good that came out of the news today, right? Number one, it shows there is accountability in our system. And number two, like I've been saying all along, do not mess with Pennsylvania so long as I'm the attorney general.